Check this out. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. You're watching The Dean Show. This is The Mailbag. I'm Yusuf Estes, and we've got a good question right here. I want to jump right to it right away. They're asking the question, is there proof that God really exists? And how can I explain it to somebody that's an atheist? Well, first of all, remember, always say thank you for asking me about my religion. Refer to the fact that we always tell the truth. We have to or we go to hell. And we base what we say on the evidences from the Quran, which is preserved in Arabic language 1400 years, and the teachings of Muhammad. Understand that this is the basis of how we're going to give the answer. Next, and when you begin to talk to the person about this, remember that you don't guide people. It's Allah that guides, not you. And you can use our website to back up what you're saying. We have a number of websites out there. You can go to search for Islam and type in the keyword and it will help you find what you're looking for. But in this case, I'll tell you which one of our sites will give you the exact answer for this. It's called scienceislam.com. Scienceislam.com. Because they want to know what's the proof of God. And that's one of the questions, the first question right there. Who is the God that we're talking about? Because often people confuse what we believe with what other religions believe. It's totally different in Islam. We believe that God is not the creation, not a part of the creation, doesn't need the creation, does not have this interaction with the creation where he's dependent in any way on this creation. However, the creation depends on him 100%. When you really understand the monotheism of Islam and compare it to anything else, you'll find it's quite unique. Go to the website there and check it out for yourself and understand that the miracles that we have around us were mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago. Things that people couldn't have known about. Many of the other things that we have in common sense and logic, the answers that even science today is, is stumped, they can't answer the questions, they're found in Islam 1400 years ago. Find out what nine different scientists said themselves after finding out this information. Those that took the time to read, study, and understand in the Arabic language what the Quran was teaching and see what they said. We have nine videos on the website there. Check it out for yourself and see. Okay, we're going to return you back to the program now. You're watching The Dean Show. What you... So is what you reap. So what you invest today is going to be the outcome tomorrow. So that's why the necessary uh, next life plays a factor. Yes. Otherwise, what's the purpose? Now you can rob, steal, do whatever, and if there's no accountability. Uh, that's it. No, so when, when you know that there is a creator, that you will be held accountable, it puts you in check. And it's just a logical belief. Absolutely. And Islam provides all the evidence that we need to not just blindly believe, but believe with enough evidence to strengthen us to move forward. Absolutely. Tell us that verse, there's one beautiful verse in the Quran that just, just blows away uh, the argument and where God says, did you create your, were you created from nothing or did you create yourselves? Yeah, yeah. Did you, yeah, did you come from nothing or are you yourselves your creator? No, it's, it's a rhetorical question, you know, like, how did you get here? Did you create all of this, or am I the creator? You know, like, it, it, there's, it goes on even from that, you know, and, and it's in uh, chapter 56 where God says, look at the fire that you kindle. Who created the wood? Did you create the wood, or am I the creator? Look at the rain that comes down from the heavens. Do you bring it down, or is I the one that bring it down? If I had wished, I would have made it salty so that you couldn't even drink it. You know, so in this one chapter in the Quran that Allah goes, the, the, Allah, the true God goes over and over reminding us of these things that we derive benefit from and then asks us, did you do this by yourself or am I the one that does it? And at the end of that he says, then you should submit to me and me alone. So this, is, this is the whole purpose not of the Not to point. your desires, not to the dollar, not to materialism, not to a man or a monkey, but to God, the creator of the heavens and earth alone. Alone. And that's the whole message of Islam, which means surrender and submission to the creator of the heavens and the earth. I'd like to thank you for being with us again on the Dean Show. As a always a pleasure. Back. Always. Yeah. Always a pleasure. And I'd like to thank everybody that has uh, been tuning in <clears throat> since day one. I'd like to send a special thanks to also, we made some adjustments on the website where you can go on there and continue doing your research, looking into the question and answer section 
And for that person that doesn't believe in God, and now it has struck him to think a little more, and he wants answers to what's the purpose of life. He wants to know why he's been created. Where do I go from here? Islam answers all these questions logically and with the evidence. So we made some adjustments on the website. I'd like to thank uh, my brother uh, Abdul Wahid from England, who's really helped me out a lot. I'd like to thank you, brother Jazakallah Haider, um, for all your assistance and help. You can check out uh, his site, uh, islamictube.net. He's got a lot of information on there also. And everybody that continues to support us, tell, continue to tell all your friends and families about the show. And we'll see you again, God willing, every week on the Dean Show. Assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you.